So I have my MacBook Pro 17 inch again and if we power it up right now You guys are going to see this in real time on how long this takes. It's a very powerful machine but this hard drive that we have in here is really slowing this thing down and just starting with the boot time as you guys are seeing it just takes forever. So if you guys are unfamiliar with this, the MacBook Pros, the 17 inch were last made in late 2011. So this is pretty decked out, this model. It has the 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core i7, 16 gig memory. Um, it has the Intel HD as well as the Radeon graphics. So it has everything, but one thing, but one main thing that it lacks in is the storage. And the storage in this computer is a very old Hitachi hard drive. It's a 160 gigabyte. This thing is like 5400 RPM, so it's very slow. And that's the reason why this thing works so slow. If you guys can't upgrade to the new MacBooks but are looking to get that real MacBook speed as these new 2018, 2019 models, then I'm going to be sharing with you guys the secret. We're going to be upgrading the drive on this and I'm going to be installing the Samsung 850 Evo. This is a 250 gigabyte. They also have a 500 GB and a one terabyte variant as well. I'll have this link down below in my description box if you guys are also looking to upgrade. And this is one I really recommend. It's very fast and it's very reliable too. And it's pretty inexpensive now. So let's get started. You're going to shut down. Once it's shut down, we're going to open up this back cover. As far as everything I use in this video, I will have a link down below in my description box. So in case you guys need anything, you can check it out down below. We're going to get these screws opened. So once we have all the screws removed, it should come out just like that. And here's the culprit to all our slowdowns in the sluggish running MacBook. And the reason why the MacBook Pro 17 inch gets a bad name, it's because of this drive right here. So to get this hard drive out, you're going to just loosen these two screws and then the bracket is going to come right out. See, just like that. The screws don't even need to come out. Once you loosen them, this bracket will pull right out. It's not necessary to open this one because we do have enough room to lift the hard drive and then remove the cable. Here's our new drive. And installing it is pretty straightforward. We're going to grab the connection, plug it in, and then place the new SSD drive into place, and then reinstall this little bracket. Just like that and then reinstall the back cover. Make sure you reinstall the screws from each hole that they came out of. Some of the screws are bigger and some are smaller. And now the last thing left to do before we can experience the fast speeds with our SSD upgrade is to reinstall the operating system. And if you guys don't have the disc or the USB, you could just hold down Command, R, and the power button. Once you hear the chime, let the power button go but keep these two keys held. And you can let the keys go once you see this screen starting internet recovery. So this internet recovery loading screen does take about five minutes, so please just be patient with it. And now what you're going to do is make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi and then I'm going to go into disk utility and then I'm going to look right here. Here's our new SSD drive. I'm going to erase it. 
and do it in Mac OS Extended Journaled. Put your hard drive name. I'm going to put Mac HD. Erase. Erase. And this is going to fully set up the drive so it could be used on your MacBook. And then we're going to do reinstall Mac OS X. And this is going to reinstall the original one, so this had Lion. But you can always upgrade it from the App Store right after. So continue. So now I'm going to let it install, and once we're on the setup wizard, we'll get started and I'll share with you guys the comparison between the old hard drive versus our new SSD drive upgrade. I'm going to go through the setup wizard and set it up to my settings. There you have it, we're going to go on about this Mac. Everything opens up right away. We have our SSD drive right over here, 250 GB, 250 solid state SATA. And now I'm going to shut down and basically boot up the laptop again and see how quicker it is compared to our hard drive. And we're already in. That literally took less than 10 seconds for boot up. Compared to my old hard drive, which literally took 40 to 45 seconds to boot up, and then even when I was clicking about this Mac, it would take time. Everything opens up instantly on this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video on how you can bring your MacBook Pro 17 or your 15 inch back to life and basically have them run as fast as the new MacBook Touch Bars and the new MacBook Pros. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you guys could hit the like button. And if you guys wanna see more videos on my MacBook Pro 17 inch or other Mac tips and tricks, you guys can subscribe to my channel at Tech Treatment and I'll catch you guys soon with another video. Thank you.